We'll guide you through how to download and install fresh animations in Minecraft 1.21.7. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Fresh animations goes and enhances the animations of mobs and creatures, so they can go and look really cool. To get started, close Minecraft and open a web browser of your choice. You're going to be on Google. Now, what we need to do is first of all, go and get something called Fabric Minecraft. Fabric is a mod loader and it's going to go and run what we need for fresh animations. So we can come to fabricmc.net. At the top here, you can press download and press download for Windows. If you're not using Windows, you can get the jar. Next, you need to go and get the Fabric API. Click there, scroll down and find the option for files. And then we need to get it for 1.21.7. Go to the right, press the three dots and press download file. Now, what we need to do is go and wait for this to go and download like so it now has. And next, we need to go and search for fresh animations like so. Click on it, scroll down and read about it once again. But what we need to do is go and press files. Here it is for 1.21.7. Press the three dots to the right and press download file. So we'll press back here and then we can go and press description. So what we're going to need is the entity model features and entity texture features. We'll start up entity model features and press continue. You go and get brought to modrinth. Once again, you can scroll and read about it or you can press versions at the top and we can then go and get the most recent one. It does say for 1.21.6, but it's gonna work fine in 1.21.7. We can press download. I just noticed here the API was blocked. If I click it, we can then download it, that's fine. Then what we can do is go and press back here and we can come back to Curse Forge and we can get the entity texture features. I'll press continue. We can then go and press textures. What we can then do is go to the right here and go and press download. We've now downloaded what we're going to need. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Host. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, definitely go and check them out. The link down below in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment as well, you can go and get yourself a discount. So it's definitely worth checking them out. They've got so many great features like one click and store mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, ultra latency, instant setup, and so much more. So if you're interested, check them out down below. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. So let's go and continue with the guide now. What we can do is come out of here come to your downloads folder. So open up your Windows Explorer and press downloads to the left. You need to go and find Fabric Installer and double click on it. And then what you can do is go and click 1.21.7 and press install. Let's go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Go to the top and press installations. Scroll down and find 1.21.7 and press the open installations folder to the right. Scroll down in here and find the mods folder and open it up. Drag in what we downloaded. So we got the Fabric API, and then we got the Entity Texture Features and the Model Features. Add them in. Then what you can do is go and find Fabric Loader and press play to the right. Pause the game and press Options and then Resource Packs, and you can press Open Pack Folder. Then what you need to do is you need to go to your Downloads and you need to go and add in fresh animations, like so. Drag and drop it in, just like that. They'll then go and appear on the left here. We can press the arrow to go and add it. Make sure it's at the top there. Then you can go and press done like so. It's going to go and reload. Now, if we go and start looking at mobs, you'll go and see they're much more detailed. As you can see, it's super cool. 